Uh oh, a boy and girl can't just hug. Mm -mm. A boy and girl just can't be friends. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works in the straight world. Now that we finished watching Shadow and Bone, we gotta watch another book to screen adaptation. And in this case, it's Stacey Jones. I'm excited because we both just read the book recently. I read the physical book a couple of years ago and I oh, did, did not like it at all. What? I was like, this shit is over hyped. Wait, you reread it? Then I reread it via audiobook recently and it really just transformed the whole story. So for those who know nothing about Daisy Jones of the Six, it takes place in the 70s. It's about a fictional rock band that was super popular. The whole book was in the form of a documentary where it was going into the details for what happened, how this band formed, the rise, and then the fall. And then the T of what happened in between with some of the bandmates. The main character is Daisy Jones. She's a drug addict, the main guy. He's an alcoholic, but he's trying to get better. Before we dive into the rock and roll world of Daisy Jones and the Six, you know what also rocks my world? Getting sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the clip from Future Cindy. It is currently 6 a.m. I've been editing this video all night. What does keep me nourished is these avocado crisps. I got these snacks from Thrive Market, which is the sponsor of today's video. They are an online membership-based grocery store, and their whole mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. So every time you order from them, there are savings guaranteed. So the way that works is that there's two types of memberships. One is the month-to-month -month basis, and it's $12 a month, or you can get the annual membership for the whole year, and then it would only be $5 a month. They guarantee that you will make back your $60 annual membership. And if you don't, they will credit you the difference. So not only are you saving on every single order, all these items are super high quality, organic and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, they will match it. So what I did when I first joined was I clicked on the deal section because I wanted to see what deals I could get and how I could save. According to my most recent order, where I got all of these snacks and some other groceries, I saved $75.91. That is so freaking wild to me. They also have fast and free shipping for any of your orders that are over $49. Something that's really cool and that makes shopping with Thrive super easy is that whether you're gluten-free, vegan, keto, or whatever, you can shop by so many different diets and values. So finally, there's a grocery store customized to your needs. I will have a link in my description box where you can get 30% off of your first order and a free gift. Now, let's go ahead and watch the reaction. We watched the whole show already. <laughs> Boom, we're done. So Daisy also agreed to this? Oh, they, I don't think they've talked in a while. Why is this asking about Daisy? You're married, bro. The interesting thing about Daisy is she was born with every advantage. Her father's money, her mother's beauty. She had anything and everything at her disposal. Did you ever shut up? And yet, she was completely alone. I like how to cast a Nepo baby character, they cast an actual Nepo baby. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, she's the granddaughter of Elvis Presley. Oh, Riley, the main actress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go, asshole. Oh my god. I'll do the same. You know what? All their issues go back to neglectful parents. Oh, she's already started. Starting them young. Was I out of control? Probably. But I was writing too. Maybe if writers did a little bit of drugs, like she did today, there would be less drama on book Twitter. <laughs> so you don't know who I am? <laughs> Should I? Well, I'm in a band. Cool. That girl does not look like she fits in the 70s. Yeah, she looks like she is a TikTok dancer. Of course I knew who he was, are you kidding me? And not because he was in some band. I really wish they cast someone who looked like a more normal woman instead of like a super hot actress like she clearly is. Because I think the appeal about Camilla's character was that she was like the only normal one while everyone else was all fucked up, you know? Yeah. It's like, Camilla, girl, why do you have lip injections? What's going on? You give me your number and I'll write you a song. And she's like, oh my God, then I'll make a TikTok dance to the song. <laughs> I got into college. You go to college, you look like you just opened a 401k. How much do you want to bet they're all wigs? Thank God I met Simone when I did. Daisy says you changed her life. 
See, the answer is always women. No, the answer is always people of color. True. Who are women. <laughs> True. Her outfit is cute with the little braids and everything. Some of her outfits that she's been wearing, I'm like, the girlies in LA, if they saw that kind of outfit at thrift store, they would fucking kill each other for that. <laughs> fucking scratch, split each other apart for that. Ooh, I like this outfit a lot. Yeah, it's so cute. I'm not interested in being anybody's muse, Gary, okay? Not yours, not anybody's. I didn't mean it like I'm that. I'm not the muse, okay? I'm the somebody. It's okay, girl. Even if you don't make it, you could probably make a bunch of money from selling on Depop. This is real. This is me. <laughs> I'm exactly no. where I'm supposed to be. They're all gonna meet and they're gonna be like, they can't rock. <laughs> People may try and they'll try to. I'm gonna do till I die too. Yeah, you show off your veneers, girl. <laughs> Everyone doesn't give a fuck about what she's doing at the bar. <laughs> she's like, I want to see if I'm good enough. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, no, actually, she feels good. She feels empowered because she got to sing a song. To That's the power people. of music. Rod, hey, could we have 10 minutes of your time? He's like, not these fucking losers showing up at my doorstep. Not these people pretending they're in their early 20s. The Dumb Brothers would love to have you join our band. We're in LA. We have some gigs lined up on the strip. They're like, hey, this band is a sausage fest. We're failing the Bechdel test every time we talk. Could you just like put yourself in? <gasps> Daisy! Ooh, what my the God. fuck? <laughs> you just broke into my house like that? Like, Jesus Christ! What are you cooking that's like so important you just have to break in? She's like, that's this white girl. She can't cook. She's like, what smells like unseasoned chicken? I'll get a job. Okay. Well. Not as a cook you want, Jesus. That is bad. <laughs> exactly. She's like, you ever heard of pepper? No, no. Come on. What you can <laughs> One second. She's like, I know I'm pretty. She's like, no, no. <sighs> Let me be a model. Starts busting on a skincare team. Hey guys, let's do it. Get ready with me. Karen's like, what the fuck did I sign up for? And when my life is over, remember when we were together. Of course, Simone would be the most talented bitch on this show. And now. I'd like to introduce a friend of mine. Come on up, Daisy Jones. Daisy's like, I knew being an ally would work in my favor. <laughs> Either way, it's just as well. All I need is a promise I can keep. A little bit of my help, I can take you to the next step. And all you need is some shaping. And you shaping? Can... I don't think I want to be shaped. She's like, I'm an April baby. That's not how it works. <laughs> Imagine being a skinny legend. Mr. Price, I, I love Blue Elsewhere. Thank you very much. Uh, my name's Billy Dunn. Billy, is that your name? Yes, sir. You're making me uncomfortable. He's like, I am not about to get hate crimed. He's like, these are the 70s. I got to deal with too many serial killers that look just like you. If I were you and some kid came up to me in the market and asked me to listen to his band, I'd say thanks, but no thanks, just like you are. But I'd be making a big mistake. You know, you only get one chance at this. Are you ready? Wow. She has a faithful encounter in the grocery store. Changed their lives. I know. If only actually it worked like that. There's one we'd be knocking around. Yeah? It's not like the others. It's, I want to hear it. It's not ready. Let me hear that. Oh. She's like, you know what? You should do a collab with Doja Cat. And then she does like a little dance to it. <laughs> Didn't even notice. He's like, all right, let me hear this white nonsense. Yeah, he's like, I'll give these white people this a fucking chance. Because, you know, they've always had such little chances in life. You stalking me now? I want to work with you. You know, I've heard that from a lot of music producers, Teddy. And Classic Nepo Baby just gets things handed to her. Classic Nepo Baby response. Billy, I'm pregnant. I know what we're gonna do. It's always the fucking kids that ruin everything! He sings a new song. Let's have an abortion. <laughs> snip, snip. Oh, shit, never mind. His solution was, we're gonna get married. Is, is Billy there? I'm not sure where he is. Oh my god, I wonder if they're gonna show the scene where she walks in on him getting a... Hey! What? Camilla? Just wait, just wait, listen, listen to me. Uh-oh, I think we're gonna see it. Oh, no. Question is, are we gonna see the peen or no? Uh, Reese Witherspoon, will you go down that route? Your man is cheating. Don't open the door. <gasps> no way would he still have his pants on. I remember this part in the book, but it was hard to listen to. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's like, dude, you really fucked up. If you think that I'm gonna let you ruin our life, my life, I don't give a fuck what you do until this baby comes, but when it does, you are gonna show up for me, for this child, and you're gonna keep showing up for the rest of your goddamn life. Do you understand? You are gonna pay for this baby and support me no matter what. I'm getting that paycheck. I'm getting that childcare support. She's like, bitch, you are my source of income, <laughs> so you better set the fuck up. This is me pinning you to the wall and be like, you better fucking react to every movie reaction with me. <laughs> We're gonna make that sponsorship money. We're gonna make the ad revenue. Do you think you could stay in a relationship with a man who cheats on you no. like that? But she did. I don't have a boyfriend 
if it was Billy Dunn. If he was Billy Dunn, would you stay with him? Well, the checks were coming in and the royalties were there. Maybe it'd be different. I'd the, be staying until I get my coin and the, leave him. The checks were not coming in yet, but she said, I'm gonna invest for the future. Exactly. Miller's had the baby, Billy. It's a little girl. <gasps> Damn, she gave birth real fast. Damn, not this producer literally driving them all the way to Washington to see this baby. He's like, I'm fucking investing in this shit. Y'all better make me money. I can't do it. Oh no, you gotta do this. No, I can't. You got to. I said I can't. I can't have her baby like this. I said, get the fuck out of my car. Yeah, tell him. He's like, I don't get paid enough for this shit. Titty, titty, I, I can't do it. Damn, that sucks. She's all alone. What a mess. Wow, Reese Witherspoon really said this whole baby storyline, let's fucking speed it up. She said, pacing, we don't know her. Children, we don't give a fuck. Why is that always like the outfit that people wear after rehab? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the gray hoodie and the cap. She just smiles, you know? And not some smile like when she's got gas, you know, like a real full human smile, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> it's okay, you can always make another baby. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just start over with a new one. Sorry, I'm late. The baby looks at Billy. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> that ain't my daddy. You telling me Camilla is Latina and she wouldn't hold a grudge? They really glossed over how Billy fucked over the whole band. We didn't really get to see like the whole substance abuse. Yeah, spiral. again, Reese Witherspoon was like, oop, I don't see it. She's like, we're keeping this PG. I can't do it, Graham. I mean, I'm out. I'm done. We can just tell him I'm not. Everybody down there, they've been waiting for you. Just, would you okay. just tell him for me, please? Man, in this show, Billy is such a pussy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. In the book he had issues, but like, you could see it. That's what I mean. In the book he had issues and you yeah. could tell, but you could also tell he was like human. It's like a big baby in this one. Yeah, just watching the show, it's like, bro, what the fuck is going on with you, you know? Like, get your shit together. That's, that's what he said. Of course he did, because you're a star. Teddy said this was gonna happen. He said it's only- Is Simone? Listen, it's always the gays, the people of color, queer women. They really said, let's put all the minorities into one side character. She's all around your head. This is main character behavior. <laughs> Pushing someone into the pool and then singing. I would say her swimsuit and fur coat, that's the look. She may be messy, but damn, she looks good. Hey, I should have come change my mind. But I'm not going to. I actually think you're doing the right thing. Why did you come then? I missed you. He's a good guy, because yeah. he's so attached to someone who really just fucked up his bag. Simone is just thriving the entire show. And living good for her, her. Yeah, living her best life. You wanna sit down? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Ew. She's like, bitch, I'm a lesbian. Let's go home to Pittsburgh. I'll get a construction job. I'll, I like building things, working with my hands, you know? Do you think that I moved here for you? I moved here with you, for us? She's like, as a fucking lootly not bitch. She's like, you gotta pay child support. Exactly. We ain't gonna do that by you working construction. Yeah, that ain't gonna bring in the money. I invest it in you. I don't know if I can handle it here <laughs> anymore. I'm weak. Pick up your kid. Oh my god, he is such a loser. <laughs> He's like, I'm afraid I'm gonna fuck it up, so I'm just gonna fuck it up. It's the man logic for me. <laughs> this baby's like, who the fuck is touching me? <laughs> <laughs> all, all of a sudden, oh shit, <laughs> he drops it. Everything's just back to normal with you guys. You don't just stop loving someone because things get hard. I feel like her logic is very straight logic. Those kinds of couples are always like, you have to choose to be with them and love them every day through all the ups and downs. Even when your relationship is a roller coaster and you hate that fucking person every day, you choose to stay with them. Are you telling me that's not a good song? It's a good song, but there's a lot more people with your sound now. He's like, being a dad has made you soft. He's like, damn, I thought we were rock and roll. I didn't know we were making lullabies now. What is this song? She's like, what the fuck is that sound? Can you turn it <laughs> off? So she's gotta come in to clean their mess. Once again, the woman cleaning shit up for the men. Could I have a glass of milk and a whiskey? Or just a whiskey if you don't have milk? Or just a milk if you don't have whiskey? Or just milk and whiskey mixed together and put it in a baby bottle for me to <laughs> suck on it. Cause I know Billy has daddy issues. <laughs> she gets a baby bottle. She's like, let me reenact what the baby did when you weren't there. <laughs> she's like, the whiskey helps my throat. She's like, I know what's, what can help my throat later on. <laughs> Looking at Billy. <laughs> she's like, 
like, hey, aren't you the dude from The Hunger Games? Her version is like a completely different song. It's about starting a new life. It's about redemption from letting people down. You're saying, you know, everything's fine. Look at us now. Everything's in the past. It, nothing. Yeah, it what's wrong with that? I don't believe it. And it doesn't sound honest and it sounds simple. She's like, mm, these lyrics sound full of shit. She's like, you're poor and rich. Listen, I have a perspective. My grandpa, Elvis Presley, would want me to sing it this way. <laughs> if the label loved the song, why? They didn't. The label said no. They don't know we're here. Who's paying for the session? I love you, man. You know that, don't you? This guy is giving Sam Claflin way too many chances, but he's constantly fucking up. Maybe he thinks of him as a son, you know? Probably. Like, I'm like a daddy to you. And daddy says, your song sucks ass. We had to bring a Nepo baby just to fix your shit. <laughs> and you know your singing sucks ass when a Nepo baby has to <laughs> save your shit. <laughs> He's like, I see something there. It's chemistry. He's like, two conventionally attractive white people together just feels right. What do white people love more than rock and roll? Enemies to lovers. Cha-ching! He's like, I fucking did it. I'm a goddamn genius. He had the right intuition because Sam Claflin's vocals alone wasn't really given any flavor. I wasn't cutting it. Once you added her vocals into it, it boosted both of you them know what? up. Maybe it's true about the whole Nepo Baby conversation. They do deserve, you know, chances and they deserve this because you know what? They do fix things. And Daisy Jones just proves that. I wrote a song about hope, and she turned it into this celebration of, of doubt. I mean, I fucking hated that song, and apparently I was the only one. Yeah, because it sucked, Billy. You just gotta accept that you're mediocre. This is his real character development, confronting mediocrity. Oh, I'm rich! I'm rich! Six hundred dollars went a real long way in those days. Did you buy this house? She's like. The royalties came in, settling for mediocrity. She's like, I knew I invested well. Check it out, dude. <laughs> Would you ever want to be in a band? No. It is a lot of work. Some people, that's the life. Would my car sick ass? I would not make it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd be like, another fucking road trip? Uh-uh. We made it this far. Oh, we can make a good thing. Her vocals do make the song better. Yeah. And if this was your plan, tell me, tell me why you've been crying in the dark. I like the song better lyrically too. She did improve the song. This is Daisy Jones's version of Stage Presence. <laughs> He's like, bitch, get the fuck off. She's like, make her to energy me. He's like, give me space, bitch. She's like, I make you better. Six feet apart, okay? I said we we're playing it fourth. Did you uh, not hear me or just choose to ignore me? Oh no, I just thought you'd already played two because they all sound the same. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I get how she's being annoying, but she's also not wrong. Is that? That's my voice. I'm gonna fucking kill him. She said ally. I do appreciate that the show is giving more of a spotlight to Simone because she was just a side character in the books, but now she's having her own storyline. Yeah, really expanding it. She has like her own conflicts and stuff. I just need to get out of here. Get to where? I'm going to New York. Watch, it's, this is the time Daisy spirals into drugs because she doesn't have Simone anymore. Oh yeah, you need that support group. See, you're why I have a spiral into drugs. You're the only drug I need. I'm your drug addict. Man, her outfits. I know. <laughs> if only her addiction could just be like thrift shopping or something, she would slay. Well, Daisy, uh, well, she has her own stuff going on and more of a one-time thing. What's that face for? Tell me. I mean, you could have given her a little credit. Even his wife knows <laughs> that Daisy makes the whole band better. I brought a pineapple. Uh, a pineapple. <laughs> My gay friend isn't here, so I brought another fruit. People talking about us making more music together. Well, do you want me to join your band? I mean, sure. Why? That's what I thought. Daisy? Why don't you come back in for a little? He doesn't want me here. Doesn't matter, I want you here. She's like, Daisy, come on. We're looking for a third. You wanna be your unicorn? She drops the baby like she dropped the wine bottle. Oops. <laughs> Not me shattering another thing. She was crying and I like. <laughs> she's like, do we look like mommy and daddy, Billy? I like how she's like, wow, I held a baby one time. I'm so fit for motherhood. Nothing I could say. Have to learn. It was at this moment 
She knew she fucked up. I don't know if I need to say this, but um, I'm going to, just in case. Billy and I, and Warren and Graham and Eddie and Karen, we're family. Families, they, they take care of each other. We'll take care of you. You take care of us, okay? She's like, take a knife. Don't fuck it up. You take care of us, starting with not fucking my man. You got it? Because that would be called incest. You got that, Daisy? Trust isn't easy. In fact, it's one of the hardest things you will ever have to do. You have nothing without it. So yeah, I chose to trust them. The whole language about choosing to trust them, choosing to be in the relationship, it's very like straight couple. You have to choose to love them, choose to stay, even if it makes you unhappy, you can choose to be happy. We I wrote a song. Well, actually, I've written about 20 songs I'd like to play for you guys. We actually have 13 songs for the album. Oh my gosh, it's about your wife in the rain. <laughs> That's fucking funny. <laughs> She called him out. It'd be funny though, if she had written like 20 songs and they were also all about his wife. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, we have like the same concept. Can I ask you a question? Why are you so obsessed with your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so obsessed with her? It's kind of weird. She no. looks like a TikTok star. But you know what? She do got a point because if he's trying that hard, it's cause he fucked up. That's how you know some guy is like up to something. This is all about my wife. What the fuck? Where are their drawings of her? How do you know what her boobs look like exactly? This is me stressing out about all the videos I need to edit and my taxes and my daytime job. And you're just like, let's go get high at a rave. You're Billy, I'm Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> How many pills do you take in a day? I don't know. I... Well, you said anything. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I don't know. I'm not, I don't count them. You don't think that's a problem? Why would that be a problem? They're from a fucking doctor. What's a problem if you can't stop? I can stop. You know what? I'm Daisy, but through therapy, I'm trying to be like Billy right now. <laughs> but why not both, you know? It's, it's optimistic, it's, it's hopeful. We're not writing a song about being hopeful. We're writing a song about why we do things that are bad for us, why we keep doing them, even though we know that it's hopeless. I don't agree. He's so like lovey-dovey, it has to like feel good, you know? Mm -hmm. And she's like, no, love is broken and bad and messy. He's like, I want my happy ending. It's because he's so afraid of his darkness. Yeah. He's like toxic positivity. Yeah. He's like, all these songs better live, love, laugh, or else I'm not singing it. If you gonna let me down, let me down easy. He's like, damn, I'm good. Uh-oh, a boy and girl can't just hug. Mm -mm. A boy and girl just can't be friends. Mm -hmm. That's not how it works in the straight world. Right, what'd you think? I'm a motherfucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. What do you think so far in the first five episodes? I definitely think that the show kind of lost a lot of the character nuance from the books. Daisy is kind of like this quirky, starry-eyed girl who's just trying to be a singer, when in the book she felt a lot messier and grittier. And I feel like they downplayed that side of her. Billy retained all of the same Billy in the book's flaws, but we don't really understand why he's like that. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of context has been lost. But I'm trying to like now view the show as its own because I need to accept that like it's not gonna be like the books. There's still a certain charm to the show, I think. I actually kind of like Camilla as well. I like this episode. She's like, we're family. We take care of each other. So you better watch the fuck out. She's like, we're family. Not in the Cassandra Clare way. So you better step off my man. Let's see what happens in the rest of the show. We'll be watching it on Elisa's channel. Bye. <laughs>